Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, so today we're gonna get started on the WRX. So we're gonna wrap this car. I don't know if you saw the other video, but we're gonna wrap it blue. I'll show you the color in a minute again, as soon as I start wrapping it, but yeah. So basically, yeah, we're gonna change the color of the car, make it blue, it's gonna look nice. So yeah, we're gonna change it to that blue. And then, yeah, so first things first, washing the car, clay barring it getting all the dirt off the car as much as possible. And then after that, I'm gonna start disassembling everything, taking off the fenders, taking off the bumper, taking off all the plastic stuff all around the car. So yeah, but first we'll start with the fenders and the doors and the, um, this whole side, we'll, I'll probably start first and then we'll move on to the other side and then we'll do the back bumper, trunk and front bumper last. Um, I always wait for the front bumper last. I'm not too sure why, but it's probably the only one that it's probably the hardest one on any car so yeah i want to wait for that one last um but yeah overall doesn't seem too bad <laughs> so yeah i haven't wrapped any other car other than the sti but so yeah this is gonna be my second car wrapping so let's see how it's been a year so let's see how good i still am at this <laughs> but anyways yeah um if you want to wrap your car it's not that hard i mean i say just give it a try do it yourself because i think shops ask for too much money so yeah, if you want to tackle something like this yourself, I suggest you do. Um, go ahead and reference this video on how to wrap this car if you have a VB. <laughs> um, overall, I'll try to capture as much as possible as I can with the car. I'll probably do a little bit of time lapse here and there um, and a little bit of real time there and there. But yeah, so first I'm gonna tackle this side and then I'm gonna tackle the other side, and like I said, and then the back bumper and the trunk. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and wash the car, clay bar it, dry it and then start disassembling everything. It's gonna be a long video guys. So I'll go ahead and enjoy. This is the last time you're gonna see this car silver. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Once I'm done, we'll go over. I'll probably stop here and there on how the car is turning on and just give you guys like a little walk around probably while the car's outside. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's definitely gonna look sick. I can't wait until I'm done. It's, a, it's gonna be a long process, but yeah about that that's the it took me about 30 hours to do so this video is gonna take about i don't know we'll see how long it takes me <laughs> well overall yeah let's, let's just get it go ahead and get it done all right guys now that the car is clay washed and clean it's time to remove some of these bottle panels i already tried taking this off so i'm gonna have to take that off took the license plate off already do gotta remove the emblem for the wx Right there, can't really see it because it's great, but anyways, yeah. So first off, it's probably removing the front bumper and the fender, the tail lights, I mean the headlights. So remove the headlights the and the fender fenders and the front bumper. So let me go ahead and start taking that off. Now that we got the front bumper disassembled, took it off. Such a bunch of, had a bunch of pop, pop kits all the way to the bottom. Um, two push, pun, push pins right here, push clips right here. And then some 10 millimeters and push clips. And pop clips on top. Yeah, this car is pretty dirty. There's a turbo. <laughs> There's a charge pipe. All plastic. I don't know when we're gonna start putting some performance parts on this car, but yeah. And as you can see, the I took off the fender already. That was easy to remove. It's just held on by pop clips. It's just, it feels like you're gonna break it in half or something because of the double-sided tape. So if you wanna heat it up before, I didn't heat it up because it's pretty hot. But if you wanna heat it up just to remove it. I'll probably be making it, it'll probably be easier. <laughs> so for now, I'm just gonna remove this headlight. So 10 millimeter here, one up here somewhere, probably on this pop clip, one up here, um, and like two over here, one right here, and a pop clip. <laughs> it's kind of like the STI, 
I would assume. So, yeah, let me just go ahead and uh, take off the headlights, disconnect those, and then we can start cutting a piece of wrap for the fender. Alright guys, well I got most of it disassembled, I got the fender, I'm gonna go, I need a wheel decal remover thing, I think they sell one out of them, so I'm gonna go get one really quick, but yeah, took off this plastic piece, there's one pop clip right here that you pull from first, and then these two just come and come off, um, then we got the window seals, these ones on the VA one, and there, there's a screw right here you gotta take off, but this one is just one clip, you got, I usually, I usually start from the middle, pull up, twist a little bit, so I get to the ends, then I use like a prying tool or something to get between the two. And it's just held in like pushed in there, okay? So you just pop it open right here and you can pull it out both sides. So this one will struggle a little bit because <laughs> so I was trying to figure out how it works, but yeah, got that. Um, this is just pop clips. I, like I said, I would heat it because I think the heat helped get most of the glue, double sided tape with the fender so yeah so a bunch of pop clips like i said uh, this is easy to come off so yeah all i need is the door handles and we sh and the mirror and we should get started on wrapping this whole side right here <laughs> so yeah easy process i mean let's just go ahead and get that wheel thing and then we can start cutting up the pieces and start wrapping the car all right all right guys well i got the fender done i seriously forgot to um record this whole piece um yeah i thought i was recording but i guess i wasn't so anyway yeah i'll try to record the rest but this one's super easy um it's different from the sti because i do have to use more wrap to get all the way down there um but yeah other than that i mean this piece went in good easy smooth no struggle at all so yeah that's one down <laughs> That's like 10% of the car, so that looks freaking clean though. Once the whole car is done, I think that color is gonna look really nice on this car. Yeah, let's go ahead and start by removing the door card. Just removed from this hole right here. I was gonna take this. I took this off. I'm thinking I was right here, but easy access. <laughs> so this hole, remove this one. All you gotta take off is one screw. So the other one, there's no other screw. So literally a screwdriver, kind of pop tip. All right, once you remove that, remove two 10 millimeters. All right, guys. Well, got the door handles off, got the mirror off. Just need to get this rain guard off, and then I got the tail light off. So now, all I have to do is start. I need to cut a whole sheet to cut for the two doors and the quarter panel. You got one whole sheet to cut the doors and the quarter panel. Um, you will have extra on this car because you got to cut around this this little line right here. So the fen or the fenders because you don't got to wrap too low. That's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I did remove the mirror. Um, I might as well since I was already removed the door card. You don't have to remove the door card to get access to this bolt right here. It's on the side right here and then you can just take it off. But on this one, you do have to remove the door card to get the bolt that's right here. Because before it was rare. But on the VAs, it's right here where the lock locking mechanism is and you have to take that off to reach the bolt. But on this one, it's literally just straight into the door card. 
So you do have to remove the door card for this one. You don't have to remove it for this one, but I did anyways, cause I was gonna take off a mirror. It's only three bolts in, in the clip, so it's not too crazy. Let me just go ahead and uh, pull out the roll and measure it and then cut it to, to this, okay? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me just go ahead and do that. All right guys, well, I have the whole entire sheet cut out. I already cut out the quarter panel one and I have it in the trunk. Now I'm just gonna cut out the doors. As you can see, it's a little tall. So what I can do is cut a little bit off and use that for scraps. Um, or you can leave it on, but you know, when you work with too much wrap, it just, it bugs sometimes. So I'm just gonna cut it off just in case I do decide to uh, paint the side skirt. Um, I can always use that wrap for the side skirt later down the road. So for now, and let me just go ahead. So you want to give yourself, you want to make it enough, like at least four or five inches this way or 12 inches at least and cut two inches right on the line. So if you find your, your door jam, cut right there and then you can move and then you should have enough for this piece. Cause right here I have about four inches. So it should be able to cover the whole entire door. So as long as you cut, on the door panel just kind of straight down and then just kind of but i'm gonna first cut the side skirt out and then i'm gonna cut the door out okay let me go ahead and do that All right guys, well as you can see, I already cut a bunch on the top and then I cut the two pieces for the doors. So yeah, simple, easy, easy way to do it. Cut it out of your quarter panel. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that, but some people like to do the easy stuff first, get the doors, the fenders, and that's how you run out of material. But if you get the whole quarter panel with the doors, then you, and the side skirt, cause like the top one I cut out was for a side skirt, so. Yeah, you should have enough for your side skirt or for your spoiler or whatever you need. But this is 75 foot, so it's gonna last, it's gonna have a whole bunch left. Just in case I do mess up on the front bumper or uh, back bumper um, or the quarter panel, just in case I do mess that one up. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna lay a knifeless tape right here on, along the seam right here of the door, window seal thing. That way it's tucked in there all the way up. So let me go ahead and lay down a knifeless tape and then get started on this wrap. Um, I'll just put you guys on a time lapse and so you guys can see just me doing it. <laughs> but, yeah.
All right, guys, well, that's done. Took about 30 minutes. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways, super clean. Just lengthless tape right here, all the way down. Took it in, cut, cut up here. Lifeless tape, cut, cut, and cut. And then just tuck. This one's easy because you can tuck under the rubber so it doesn't show. Just tuck it all under. And then right here is just covered by a plastic piece, and this is covered by a plastic piece. So, And this whole thing is covered by a fender piece. So, yeah, so far, so good. All right, so let's just go ahead and start removing the door. Uh, handles and the door mirror and the rest of the fenders over there and I should be able to put this fender back so I'm gonna put through that right now and then yeah so let's just go ahead
All right, guys. Well, that pretty much completes this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy those cinematic shots I took with the Osmo Pocket 3. They came out freaking clean for for a little camera. I'm gonna be using that a lot more for some roller shots. But honestly, yeah, the the wrap came out clean. It looks freaking sick, and she loves it. So she can't wait to drive it. But right now, I just um, I need to ceramic coat it and wait a couple days for it to dry and stuff. So she won't be driving it until it's done. That way it lasts a long time with ceramic coating and it's easier to wash So, Cause the STI is ceramic coated, but I think it's about time I re-ceramic coat that car because it's been a year on and it still works fine, but I don't know. Definitely gonna ceramic coat the WRX though. Came out clean, just missing a front lip, lower the car and some wheels and this car will look pretty much sick as it is. <laughs> I'm starting to fall in love with these cars, honestly. They look really good, especially when you lower it and some wheels and a front lip. Definitely want to get those fender, fenders paint matched. I'm thinking about getting the AFD one and the AFD uh, front lip. So that's for a future video because we definitely need to order a new lip because that carbon fiber one broke on us. So yeah, can't really put it back on. It just broke in half and when I took it off. So yeah, the car looks sick. I can't wait to uh, see it with wheels and Lord and the lips. The wrap came out good. The only hard part is probably this hood scoop and the, mir the mirrors. Um, the front bumper was okay. It did take me a while to get this all sorted out. But overall, I, I give this a uh, eight out of 10, how it came out. <laughs> but yeah, finally done though. Took a while, about, I was thinking of starting wrapping other cars see if anybody wants me to wrap their cars. Stay tuned for some more videos on the WX and STI because on the STI, I definitely want to do some th more things to it. Thanks for watching guys. And if you made it this far into the video, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I will definitely keep doing more videos for more content on these two cars. So if you like Subarus, um, just keep looking forward to them. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one and Enjoy your day. Peace out.